Hello Twin Flames and welcome to Pick Up Our Sunday. So on a Sunday, because we do the horoscope readings and the weekly reading, we're going to bring in a Pick Up Our for your journey. Something that is extra personal and tailor-made for you. Something you need to know and be aware of and something that can really help to move things forward. So today, I'm really being guided to bring in the Ascension Cards by Diana Cooper now. I've just used these for the masculine reading, very powerful. Paul the Venetian around the masculine today and also ascension symptoms in the ear chakras so that we hear with love so we hear with love everything on our journey we understand things from a higher point of view so whatever's been said to you today or whatever you're saying to others hear with love so you'll know if you know you're needing to adjust what you're saying because is it coming from a place of love or is it coming from ego and fear? So the ear chakras today are kind of aligning with your truth. So you may find that you're going through ringing in the ears, but it's more today a feeling of water in the ear or feeling like you can't hear properly. This too shall pass. If you're going through it, don't worry. Okay, I experienced it very powerfully earlier today. And you know, it can be a bit scary when it comes up. But when you know it's ascension, you know there's nothing to fear. It's just a way the universe upgrades you and prepares you for what's next. So rather than using different decks today, I'm going to do a pick a card with the Ascension cards. So we're going to use three heart crystals. We're going to use green for pile one, pink for pile two, and purple or dark blue for pile three. So what do you need to know for your journey? Thank you, angels. Pile one, please. There it is. Pile two, please, angels. I want a clear card for pile two. There it is. Two cards. And pile three, straight on the floor. Wow. Amazing. They really are guiding me to this card because as we prepare for a new week, we're going through ascension. That's why you may feel a bit strange today. But we're excited at the same time because you can feel a shift. So one, two, and three. When you're ready, pick your pile. And it will all be time stamped in the description box below. Okay, let's start with pile one then. So green connected with Archangel Raphael, healing energy, heart healing, and also reminding you that you are a healer and a light worker, and you have a mission here too. So the energy around your connection right now, we've got the Huna prayer. It says, your affirmation is your Huna prayer. The high priest Hermes took his tribe from Atlantis to Hawaii where he established the Kahuna tribe and taught the tribe the Huna prayer as follows. So this is something the angels are giving to you today to help your journey to feel more peaceful, to manifest quicker, to move more harmony into the connection and to help you to feel at peace with all things. There may also be a connection there with Hawaii or Atlantis. So, you know, you may have real Atlantis roots within you and you know that because you're connected with water. You may be afraid of water or you may absolutely love water. But there's not really a divide. It's one way or the other with, you know, the Atlantis power. Like I adore water, but it's also, you know, I mean, I respect water, but it's also a bit scary to me. You know, I love hearing the noise of the water, the waves crashing around and seeing it and how powerful it is. But I respect how powerful it is. And being a water sign myself, I love you know, my daily refreshing shower, I, fi I feel, I find that in that shower I receive lots of guidance. So you may feel that way too. You know, when you're connecting with water, whether it's listening to music that has got ocean sounds or you buy a body of water or you're having a bath or a shower or you're drinking more water, you feel connected with source. So that's how you know you're connected with Atlantis. And if that doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean this pile isn't for you. It just means that part of the message, you know, just let that go. Okay, but you are receiving a sign in there. So maybe your twin is connected with Atlantis or that's something you're learning about now. There may also be a connection with Hawaii. That place may be special to you. Maybe you're from there, your twin's from there, or you've had previous lifetimes there. Or you may go there in the future. Just a little extra message there. But the prayer is, first address your prayer to an angel or master of your choice. So Paul the Venetian is around the masculines today. 
So Paul would be a good one to call on today. So state your request three times in positive terms and then sit with your palms up and say, may the rain of blessings fall, so be it. And repeat this for 30 days and then stop. Wow. So the angels are giving you some homework today as what you can do to help to bring in your connection quicker and to manifest change. So you can think about what you want to do. This could be something about your twin journey itself, which may mean coming together, maybe you're manifesting communication or even union itself. So speak about it and state your request three times in positive terms. I am in union now. I am talking to my twin flame every day. Whatever your request is or something like, you know, I have plenty of money. I am valuable, I am valued, I am respected. I have a wonderful job. I feel secure and successful. I am healthy and vibrant. I feel good. Whatever it is, you know, I've hit my goal. You know, my goal is here. Whatever you want, you know how to word it in positive terms in the now. And then you say it three times, I am loved. It may just be that. I am loved. I am loved. And if you use that affirmation, you're going to bring in love. You're going to feel loved, whether that's coming from your twin or your family or your friends or the universe, you're going to feel better. So I think that's the affirmation that I will use for the next 30 days. I am loved. May the rain of blessings fall and so be it. And then repeat this for 30 days. So this is coming through for a big reason in your life. So I feel you could possibly be manifesting your dream or maybe you've already been setting your intention to manifest your dream. And this is going to help that. Okay. And I feel your masculine has a vision right now anyway. You know, your masculine is trying to manifest you and them together in the best possible way. So you doing this is also going to help that. It's going to bring in power to your life, but also to your connection and everything else. And then watch for the signs from the universe and take action at any time if it feels right. Your guidance is to start a Huna prayer for some aspect of your life or continue if you are already engaged in one. So maybe we're already doing something like this. You may already be doing daily affirmations or meditations or even connecting with water. I feel someone may be going swimming every day or wanting to, maybe going to the ocean or feeling the power of the water. So there's big change coming in. And this is also number eight, which is connected with manifestation. So if you start seeing 888, big sign your dreams are coming. If you've seen eagles in flight, big signs your dreams are coming. If you've seen 777 or an eagle about to take off, it's a sign your dream is about to you know, take off into the universe. So be patient and determined and give it time to come in. Isn't that a powerful message for you? I hope that helps. Wow. Pile two. So you've got this gorgeous pink energy connected with love and romance and dedication to your journey and Archangel Jophiel helping you to see with the eyes of love. So we've got two cards. I feel one is a masculine energy, one is a feminine energy. So We've got the gold ray of Christ and Sirius. Wow, very powerful. So listen to the messages and feel how they resonate with your journey. Because I feel that you're going to be connecting with one and feeling your masculine connected with the other. Or if you are feeling very aligned in masculine and feminine energy, you may definitely be connecting with both. So the first thing we've got coming through is Jesus, the gold ray of Christ. So Jesus is helping you to remain strong and in the energy of love and light through the changes happening. And serious energy is connected with Archangel Orion and universal power and change. And you've got the number 17. So 17 is about being on the right path and moving forward. So you may see 517 together. Maybe you look at the clock today and wow, it's 517. Or something comes to you in that way, or 17.5, but I feel the order 5.17. And if you've seen 5.55, it's about rapid change, or change that's coming in for the higher good of all. And 17, whether it's 17.17 or 
5, 17, 7, 17. Big sign of change. So blessings pour onto you when you've chose this card. So unconditional love is coming to you. It says the gold ray of Christ is held within the cosmic heart at the ninth dimension. So this is higher up than you can even imagine. That means you're receiving higher energy flowing into your world. The angels ask you to invoke the love, wisdom, healing and protection of this beautiful energy. And I feel this is you connecting with the energy of Archangel Jophiel, the beauty angel, helping you to observe and see through the eyes of love, not fear. Ask this energy, this powerful wisdom to flow through you and surround you with its golden light. And when you carry this high frequency force in your aura, you can relax and know that you are totally safe. Remember to send the gold ray of Christ to others. So Jesus is around you today, which is really powerful. Whether you've called on him or not, he's around you. And he's helping you to send love and light out to the world, to feel the energy within you and flowing through you. He's asking you to remember to see with the eyes of love and act with kindness and compassion and empathy and understanding because those things are going to help your journey. So I really feel that this gold ray of Christ is the divine feminine power. This is your energy today because you're giving out love and receiving blessings. And you can use the affirmation, I am the gold ray of Christ. That doesn't mean that, you know, you're seeing yourself above anyone else or you're, you know, thinking you are something you're not okay because I feel someone watching may feel that that's disrespectful towards Jesus or Christ and it isn't it's tapping in with Jesus energy you know remember God made you in his image and he created you know the energy of the world so this is about you moving forward in the footsteps of Jesus being able to see through the eyes of love and to understand the journey from a higher point of view especially when you go through change and that's not disrespectful, that's honouring God and honouring you and this life you've been given. So the Sirius energy and the affirmation is I am open to the higher wisdom of Sirius. So I feel this is the masculine opening up to their higher self and their higher wisdom and pull the Venetian today around them tapping them in. So the star system of Sirius holds 12 of the universal keys of enlightenment and of ascension and when you access and comprehend them you become a master of the universe so the masculines are beginning to master their life and that means mastering their universe you know they show me he-man because he-man was you know the master of the universe i have the power and he got this big sword that connected with above and you know all the power went in and then he transformed from adam into he-man so I feel this also a huge message today about your masculine's transformation. So when I'm connecting with this, I really am feeling the serious energy around your twin and the gold ray of Christ around you because, you know, as a divine feminine, you are tapped in with unconditional love. This card invites you to visit the training schools and universities of Sirius in your sleep in order to develop your higher mind, access the spiritual laws of alchemy and magic and understand sacred geometry, and tune into angel sonics and higher dimensions. So this is huge because in dreams, the masculines are healing, and learning, and growing, and preparing, preparing for you, preparing for this life, preparing for your union. So another signing, you know, if you're connecting with this, and you feel that you're going through astral travel, and we've been talking about that over the weekend, astral travel, if you feel tired when you wake up, yet you've had lots of sleep, you've been traveling to Sirius or dealing with Sirius energy in dream states. So you're connecting more and developing your psychic senses, your higher mind. You're accessing the spiritual laws of alchemy, the power of the universe, the power of the law of attraction. So you understand how your body works, how your spiritual self works and how it all interlinks and connects. And you're connected with angels, higher dimensions, guides, you know, the other realms. And this is what I've been talking about with going beyond the physical, going beyond the 5D. I mean, you're connecting with the ninth dimension here. 
which is really powerful. So if you have been experiencing nausea, forgive me, diarrhea, you know, things in the physical self, it's because you are releasing the physical aspects of you to travel farther. It's very powerful. And they give me the words to travel farther. So you're also connecting with the father who is God. So this is an important opportunity to learn through the inner planes about spiritual technology and bring it forward for the new golden age. So this is also connected with mission. So when I'm connecting with this, I feel the gold ray of Christ is connected with the divine feminine and the serious energy is connected predominantly with the masculine, but also the feminine because you're working together as a team in the 5D to access all this knowledge. So you are open now to the higher wisdom of Sirius. So if you find that your physical self is struggling, you know why. So just breathe it out. This too, whatever you're going through will pass as you adjust and as you align and, you know, become aware of everything here. So you're connecting in a very powerful way with the universe. And I feel Archangel Orion around you. Archangel Orion helping you to see, to understand, to feel. And Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel, and Archangel Zakiel, the angel who helps you to access that knowledge, is tapping you in with all of this. So you may find right now that you are manifesting things in your life very, very quickly. Or things seem to be happening very, very quickly. Time seems to be speeding up and things are changing and that's why because you are connecting with the gold ray of christ and the serious energy to see things from a much higher way i hope that helps very powerful wow pal three welcome so the gorgeous purple blue energy of archangel michael so you're protected your journey is protected and you know that you are and you're also a powerful protector of others you know you are an empress you are the light so the energy around you is hilarious, very powerful. He's one of the main guides of the universe. And the affirmation is, I open myself to the wisdom and guidance of Hilarion. Hilarion is from Saturn and steps down his energy through the temple of truth over Crete. So there could be a Greece connection here, you know, a connection with Greece, Crete. It's very powerful, you know, because my mom loved Crete that place like in Greece itself and as a child I went to Crete and I can't remember I've got some kind of regression energy there so I know I went there I've got pictures of me on the beach there but I can't recollect it or recollect it as a child I have no remember I've no memory no remembrance of that at all so I feel something big happened there and I know I'm going to visit there in the future so you may have that same kind of experience, maybe not with Crete, but with something else. Maybe you're trying to access that, you know, kind of memory now and it's not coming up or, and it's connected with a past life. So I feel you may have had a past life in Crete or in Greece or connected with the Roman Empire or something of that nature. So he is a negotiator for Earth and the Council of Saturn and he helps us remain connected to our spiritual journey and our spiritual path. So Hilarion is helping you to see things in a higher way. And also give me the word hilarious. So also helping you to connect with your humour and your inner child and be more playful. Because then you connect with more of a childlike nature and you don't take things so seriously. So you release pressure and fear around the physical world. As master of the orange fifth ray of technology, science, truth and knowledge, he invites you to open your mind so you can see the, through the illusion and see the truth. And what I'm feeling before I carry on here is that you may be very interested in technology, science, truth, knowledge. You may not understand it, but you may be interested in it or the way the universe works or how things are being created. And he's going to open your mind so he can drop seeds of new ideas into your consciousness. So you are a creator. And I feel that you're given ideas on your journey that nobody else has thought of. So you may be creating things in your life that maybe people are not quite ready for. So if you're resonating with that topic, if you're thinking, well, I've got a great idea, but it hasn't yet taken off or 
it doesn't seem to be what people want it's because it's something new something that people aren't quite yet ready for but when the golden age occurs and you're going to start seeing this moving forward between 2025 and 2030 well the golden age is coming in between 2030 and 2050 this is when big changes are coming in you know by 2050 everything's going to be different the way we live now is going to be different completely we can't even imagine or visualize how it's going to be so we have to just live in the now and you know you are ready to become who you are it says he's assisting those who are ready to become higher channels and clairvoyant well that's you and your twin so you're preparing for your next steps your mission your guidance is to sit quietly and ask him to help you be all that you can be so close your eyes and say hilarion thank you for being with me and helping me to become all that i am meant to be all that i can be thank you for assisting me to become a higher channel to open up to my clairvoyance and to be clair aware to understand through the fifth ray what technology is what these new ideas are how i can help everyone move forward into the golden age so you've got the number four and six forty six again really resonating with me because i'm 46 right now that may resonate with your age or what you've been through at 46 or what you're about to go through but four is about angel protection and six is about the physical world so you're being protected in your physical world because of your mission and how you're being guided to move towards the future so this is a powerful message today to let you know that you and your twin in union and apart from each other right now but definitely in union are going to have a hand in helping bring about the golden age and helping others to deal with that isn't that powerful i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon